we have seen queues in many real life situations we have seen queues at bus stops the person who comes first stands in the front of the queue anyone who comes next will be joining the queue from the rear end and who will be the first person to leave the queue the person who is standing at the front of the queue look at this queue at a departmental store so the person who is standing in the front of the queue will be taken care of first and he or she will be the one who will leave the queue any new person who comes and joins the queue will come and join from the rear end so if we think of queue as an abstract data type we can think of it as a collection of elements and this is a first in first out data structure so suppose these are the elements this element is the person who has come in first so he is at the front of the queue since he came in first he would be the one who would leave the queue also so the person who came in first will be the first person to be going out also so compare this with the stack where it followed the lipo data lipo principle stack was last in first out the element which came in last was the first one to be taken out in queue there are two ends one is the front end and there is the rear end so the element which was inserted first and is at the head of the queue will be the first element to be taken out also if a new element has to be added it will be added at the rear end so there are two ends to the queue front and rear there was only one end to the stack and that was called the top of the stack so elements in the queue can be added only from the rear end and they can be removed from the queue only from the end which is called the front or the head what are the operations that can be performed on queue since we are talking about queue as an abstract data type we just think about its representations and the operations we do not talk about the implementation part so what are the operations that can be performed on the queue we can create a queue and a queue can be implemented using either an array or a linked list so the implementation part can be done using either array or linked list the operation is create a queue the next operation is n queue n queue is similar to the push operation it is inserting element into a queue so if there are already elements present in the queue and this is the front as we know that any element that comes in the queue will always have to come from the rear end so if this is the new element that has come in now the new element will be the rear of the queue this is the n queue operation what is the dq operation dq operation is similar to a pop operation that means removing an element from the queue always the element which is at the front of the queue will be removed because the queue follows the fifo principle whichever whichever element is at the front that will be the first one to be removed so if the first element which is at the front of the queue is removed the front will now point to the next element in the queue so this is called the dq operation front is similar to doing a peek in the stack that means we are just seeing what is the element which is at the front of the stack it could be like printing its value we are not removing it from the queue at all we simply want to know the value of this element is full is another operation to check whether the queue is complete it is full all the elements is full is there any extra space or not 
is empty to check whether the queue is having any elements or not if there are no elements then a true will be returned which shows that the queue is empty size of the queue could be to show or represent the number of elements which are currently in the queue so these are only a few of the operations that can be performed you can we can define and create more functions for various other operations in the queue.